said at the end, uh, opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a lot of years here where, you know, the first few were, you know, we didn't talk about Stanley Cup much. We talked about a lot more like just habits and, you know, getting the organiz organization going in the right direction. And then there were many years here of just scratch and clawing in that wild card spot. And then as of late, you know, we had, we've had years where there's more expectations. You know, it's kind of at the point now where it's, you know, Stanley Cup or failure. So that's, uh, it sounds negative, but that's what's super exciting. Like you and Jamie had to carry the load for a long time, right? And I don't mean for you to disparage your own teammates, but like you've got more around you, right? Like the depth of this team and, and all the parts, correct? Yeah, I feel like if you ask Jamie or, Jamie or I back then, you know, we'd be frustrated that we haven't gotten more pieces or, you know, like you talked about, but um, when you see where our, our organization is today, you know, that's because of things we did in the past. That's because of the patience our, you know, organization and the guys in the front office have had. Um, you know, this isn't just like, uh, you know, we're, we're a team that's going to be good for many years here. I mean, we have the ages all spread out. Um, yeah. But, yeah, looking on the roster and on paper, the opportunity we have here is, uh, is awesome. And the, I don't mean to dominate this, but in the mindset, right, the... I, You're I, forget, I forget what the phrase is. I, I guess I am. <laughs> um, a little bit less for a lot more. Yeah. Like that came from day one this year, right? And everybody yeah. seems to have bought into that. Just means less individually for more for the team, correct? Pretty much. I mean, I think with any good hockey team or lineup that's deep, you're going to have guys that are maybe sacrificing in other personal categories. Um, that's what makes you deep. You know, you want to try to have two power plays when you can. You want to have a a third or fourth line that could be a first or second line another team that's what makes teams you know great and i think if you look at you know vegas last year i don't think a team was deeper than them um you know obviously looking at their roster today i mean they're they're deep again um you know but we have uh, a lot more confidence in ourselves this year as far as what we think we can match up to uh, getting to the bubble and then getting to the western conference final last year do those things build the scar tissue as we talk about I'll always be scarred from the bubble, for sure. Um, you know, if we have another one of those, I might take the option and just say that's it. But injury, I'm hurt. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you know, in, in in history of this sport or in any sports, you gotta lose a lot to figure out winning. I don't know why that is, but it's just kind of how it is. You learn from different experiences. Um, a lot of times when you win, you know, you figure out how to win again as well because you kind of know what it takes. But to get to that first step as a group, you know, you got to go through some of those tough times as a team, as individuals, and um, it helps guide you along the way for your next chance and this is our opportunity. Bruce and Cassidy have both talked about this being kind of a budding rivalry last year, the bubble, all that. Do you guys in here see as one of the top Western Conference rivalries with these guys? Yeah, now for sure. I mean, um, you know, I don't think we would have thought about the bubble too much until they beat us last year. Then you kind of put it together that, you know, maybe they're feeling a certain way that we're feeling this this year. So um, it's two great teams going at it. I mean, you know, on paper and their roster, I mean, you can look at it. It's, uh, it's a deep team. Um, you know, they've only gotten better since uh, their roster last year. So, you know, it's a huge challenge for us, and we're looking forward to the opportunity. Just what's key tonight? against these guys. Get to our game quicker than they get to theirs. Um, game one, playoffs, I mean, there's uh, tons of emotions and, you know, you're going to have butterflies in your stomach and just, uh, you know, look at it as the challenge, as uh, exciting. Try to smile, try to get to your game quicker than they get to theirs as a team, as individuals, and uh, have fun.